Seriously, in this video, I'll show you how to make an inexpensive, virtually indestructible travel rod tube. Let's go to the store to pick up the parts we need. Most of what we'll need is in the plumbing department. The rod I'm building this tube for is a single hand, four piece fly rod. So I'll need an ABS pipe with a 2 inch inside diameter. Measure the diameter of all your bundled rod pieces at the widest point and round up to the closest ABS pipe size. Grab one ABS male plug that's normally used for cleanouts. Next, you'll need a female adapter hub that the plug threads into. They were out of these, so I had to go with a cleanout adapter and a coupling to make everything work. The last ABS fitting you'll need is a cap. You'll need three if you want to add the optional external rings for tie downs. If not, just get one cap. To glue everything together, you'll need an ABS solvent cement. If you don't already have some, scoop some sandpaper. I use 60 and 120 grit for this project. Acetone isn't necessary unless you want to remove the printing that's on the ABS. It also cleans up the cement as well. Here's a few other things you'll need. Some half inch foam. I've got an old camping mat that's ideal but I have used layers of craft foam to get the thickness that I want. A fine tip marker or a ballpoint pen. Some glue to adhere the foam to the ABS plastic. I like five minute epoxy. Some half or three quarter inch masking tape. I think we've gathered everything together, so let's start building this rod tube. If you want to include the optional tie down rings, push a cap onto each end of the uncut ABS pipe. This is for support when you're cutting the bottom out of each cap. I just use a piece of masking tape to mark the thickness of the bottom of each of the caps for my cut. The power miter saw certainly speeds things up, but you can use a fine tooth hand saw as well. Sand off all of the burrs and you'll have two ABS rings that look like this. Measure the length of the longest section of your rod. It'll usually be the butt section. Add about an inch to the rod section length and mark that on the ABS pipe. Again, I just use masking tape for this mark. Cut the pipe off at this point and sand the burrs. Grab the foam of your choice as well as the remaining end cap and the threaded ABS plug. Using your marker or a pen, trace the circumference of each fitting onto the foam. Be sure the plug is threaded end down. Cut out the circles with a pair of heavy duty scissors following the inside of your lines. This should give you a nice tight fit in the recess of each fitting.
Keep trimming a little at a time until you get the desired fit. Remember though, it's like a haircut. You can always trim more, but you can add it back on. Prepare a small amount of the adhesive of your choice. In this case, I use 5 minute epoxy. Dab it around the bottom of the inside of each fitting and firmly push in the foam circles. Now we'll install the tie down rings. If you don't want this option, just skip to the next step. Pull off a long piece of masking tape that will go around the circumference of the pipe. Measure about three inches from the end and mark with the tape as shown. Because I'm inherently sloppy, I also like to add some paper for additional masking. You will likely find the rings won't slide onto the pipe very far. Use a heavier sandpaper, such as 60 grit, to hone out the inside diameter. As you're sanding, check the fit often. You want the ring to slide up to the masking tape, but with some resistance. Paint a thin and narrow layer of the ABS adhesive around the pipe using your tape mark as a guide. Now grab one of the rings and slide it down over the glue to the tape mark and spin it in place until the glue stops this motion. Quickly wipe off the glue and remove the paper and the tape as soon as possible. Repeat all of these steps for the ring at the other end of the pipe. If you recall, I couldn't find the female adapter hub fitting at the store, so I have to use this coupling. If you were lucky enough to find the female adapter hub, simply glue it in place the same way I'm gluing in this coupling. Place a thin coating of the ABS glue inside the fitting and on the end of the pipe. Using a twisting motion, push the fitting quickly into place and continue turning it in place until you can no longer do so. If you were fortunate enough to find a female adapter hub, and use that, you will be done at this end of the tube. Because I'm replacing the female adapter hub that wasn't in stock with a coupling and a male cleanout adapter, I'll have one extra gluing step. Grab the end cap with the foam in it and glue it in the same way as you did the other fittings to the other end of the pipe. Just be careful you don't slop any onto the foam.
Basically, your rod tube is completed. Just grab the threaded plug and screw it in. The cool thing about these plugs is they also have a gasket so the tube is watertight. Before putting your rod and your rod bag into the tube, unscrew the cap and let all of your connections air out. If you want, you can trick up your tube with paint or reflective tape so you can find it easily in the great outdoors. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit that like button if you found this useful and subscribe if you haven't yet. I do try to answer all the questions that are in the comments section below, so don't be shy. Now that I'm done with power tools, I'm going to have an adult refreshment. Cheers!